All right. So today I started the video about. Also, um, I suggested I'm gonna do the video. It's already finished, actually. I completed one, I think, about like shit. It's almost two weeks ago already uh, since I completed the video about Tatiana Prokshir, the psychiatrist who went ahead and hospitalized me uh, in 2014 uh, prior to departure, just prior to her departure to Begunia. It's quite on the other side of Slovenia. Uh, a girl that was involved probably since maybe even sixth grade of the grammar school in MK Ultra and became a psychiatrist and exercised Mount Everest of psychiatric crime against me already as a high school student. That's maybe what makes her exceptional. Now, I did took time to somewhat in Slovenian language did describe certain issue, certain issues pertaining to her with which I addressed her. I think today a bullying from Slovenian police, from psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia, in particular from Bojan Zalar, who is director, boss of this psychiatric hospital, was for these people extremely, extremely, extremely counterproductive. Uh, according to MK Ultra and designed to intimidate me, uh, have actually maddened me enough to give even more in and out on psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshar. Uh, psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshar right here, that's her name, this is she. Uh, and one more time I'm gonna do it. Tatiana Prokshar, just like you see the girl in the picture, like this, this. Actually quite a touchy story, a little bit. Somebody's not gonna doubt about whether I did identify her or not. Uh, like personally, how how personal it was the relationship between her and me, extremely personal. This is all in Slovenian language. Uh, I uh, I already video recorded the stuff, so the thing is, it's it's much deeper the stuff that I went to video record. Uh, and so I I don't know. I am just gonna compliment this stuff in English. So get ready for the whole video I will release. But what is groundbreaking investigation I did tonight? Uh, because that's all it takes. You just, you just, you just really, you just stand on my way. You do something enough to motivate me, and I'll start looking into your whereabouts. In my case, it could be very, very bad stuff that comes up. And for her today, I have to say. Uh, a nightmare came up from my memory. Nightmare which a Serbian president, Aleksandar Vucic, have a knowledge inside of our house to her and to what they presented to me as her husband, with whom supposedly that she has a child. Um, Something that would force entire family, all three. Then I was suggested that she also has a second child, which somewhat I don't believe. And I actually doubt about a lot of the issues. But if I would identify her like I did today, right there, on, it's in Slovenian language, yeah. Oh, you can get it, translated. I'm not going to do this right now. Because I have the video coming that is like really thorough video about psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshar. And so I'm not going to go on. This is just simplified version of what I have to say. But it's really, really interesting. Um, he, however, figured out that the stuff I'm about to tell you right now, that most likely would have her run for life together with her husband to Serbia 
not even to Republic Srpska, Srpska Krajina in, in, in a Bosnia and Herzegovina Federation, actually in Bosnian Federation. He figured out inside of our house, uh, he spoke to her, warned her about this issue before she even went ahead and have committed herself to crime against me directly in 2011 and again in 2013. In 2011, because he solicited her for something really, really bad. In 2013, because it could get really dangerous for her here in Slovenia, uh, not that somebody would do something to her or something like that, but uh, authorities-wise, because it's a part of the European Union, part of the United Nations, uh, war crimes, which she committed, she definitely committed a war crime, uh, and she committed a homicide, repeated homicide attempts against the fellow Slovenian citizen, and she did so in 2013, she negotiated directly the crime against me, which she committed in 2014, prior to leaving for uh, Begunia, she committed a super crime when she negotiated in a presidential office. With, with exactly the man you see right there. His name is Borut Pahor. And there were several witnesses to it. So one, of the, one of the persons who was there and was with Borut Pahor at the time was Borut Pahor, his mentor. His name is Milan Kuchan. The two men were together in there. Uh, unfortunately for them, there were also other people who were present. And what they negotiated was with Tatiana Proksher, with a psychiatrist, Tatiana Proksher. Psychiatric hospitalization without any grounds for one, without any reason. And there will be a second psychiatric hospitalization for which Serbs, Russians hoped for, it would break me indefinitely, it would leave me killed. It definitely did left me with severe medical scar scars. Um, she definitely did cause severe harm with a second hospitalization, not to say a trauma, a torture that went on, uh, even worse in the situation. Uh, but Well, now it's my turn. The information I am supplying you right now with is a 100% legitimate information. Like there is no, absolutely no error about this information. Absolutely no error in it. Um, now, um, I mentioned her husband. Well, the thing about it is that I will discuss this issue. This is not very certain that there is such a thing like her husband. There is no certainty here that would guarantee me uh, to, despite what I will describe to you okay i have no influence over the people who ran this procedure i only can tell you what exactly took place and what eventually took place because of how it took place uh but i cannot guarantee you that people who are involved in it that presented themselves as her uh boyfriends and then husband even 
or actually husband. I do not recall child that she would have. It will be a child. Uh, I will discuss this issue. But right now, the main issue is the one right here. This, this is the main issue. Um, this was the man, the motivator with what was the president at the time. It was Borat Pahor, this individual who took initiative in getting me killed at all costs. Um, she was summoned to Ljubljana to the meeting with Borat Pahor by uh, some Slovenian um, psychiatrist and also some Slovenian politician um, who is very close to Borut Pahor. These people are very close to Borut Pahor. Um, this was the man talking about this um, psychiatrist from Ljubljana Polje who was like used like a central uh, with through this politician was very close to Borat Pahar also uh, for a job opportunities for the people that were willing to commit themselves to crime. In my case, indeed, I don't know in cases of other people, other people, but I know that was, this was not the first meeting I had with someone uh, in front of Borat Pahor, Milan Kuchan, who did not hesitate to offer her what appeared to be later on job for what Tatiana Proksho claimed, 4,000 euros. Um, she claimed was commuting herself from Begunia to Ljubljana on a daily basis, and what appeared to be her boyfriend uh, was the man who was... Um, at times taking her to psychiatric hospital uh, to Begunia. So we go like this. We go to Ljubljana. This is the main city of Slovenia. Uh, and the rest of it, I don't know anything. I Everything I say to you, it's coming out of my memory. Yeah, this is very, very bad stuff. Very, very bad stuff. This is the stuff for which Alexander Vucic, if I repeat to you, stated she might have to run to Serbia, not even to Republic Srpska in Bosnian Federation, but literally to Serbia to save her bare skin. This individual is, well, this is a replacement of Slobodan Milosevic. So, he would know about this kind of issues because he ordered this stuff. This was literally Serbia that went ahead after me during first hospitalization and what became second hospitalization. Serbia was totally motivated. There was other parties involved in it. Really said for the British royals that they would lower themselves to the status of a Balkan state such as Serbia, some Chetnik state over there on Balkans. But, you know, people share common interests, you know. And financial liabilities can be a big problem. All I know about Tatjana Proksha is what you read here. And to tell you the truth, I did not even bother to read this stuff here. Uh, however, she ended up in a begonia. Um, she had her stories, her boogie stories that rather made me laugh together with Zoran Muja before they even opened the begonia. But okay. Um, that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is actually the stuff that I mentioned today here, this kind of stuff here. This is the stuff that actually makes me angry because. Uh, I, I, I really try to understand what happened with this woman. Um, the stuff that I described here about 
literally her taking me to Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, to the Republic Serbska, literally to meet her family, uh, where she took me literally to get approval for the matrimony with me. Uh, I was raised as, as, well, you know, as dumb, as, um, how, how can I even say? You know, Lujak, you know, Sada treba da se ženi za Lujaka, you know. Now you have to marry a madman. And the way she did this shit, the way she presented, she said that she's just, we're going to go to Bosnia, that we're going to get married, man. Uh, I was happy. She made me happy during MK Ultra. She took me and turned the whole fucking thing into first, what she suggested to the relatives uh, was that this Slovenian state uh, that is asking her to marry me, which is totally, totally fucked up. Because why is this so fucked up? Uh, when she did this, I felt like immediately that she is ashamed of me. I felt that she's like... Uh, that she have a difficulty to explain that she's gonna. I I felt like totally, um, like I didn't feel good about this whole thing because it was like, um, why why would you have to say this kind of stuff? I mean, but okay, I I somewhat understood this because, well, the thing is that political issues maybe. All right, so. I still stick to it. I was quiet, whatever, and there was MK Ultra, and they started to fuck with me, and I got into the fight with them. This shit lasted for like two weeks. Um, I probably, I, I don't regret anything because I had to defend my my life. Literally, they pushed me through the limits. Torture took place. Uh, however, it was successfully decided. That's interesting. Now, upon end of this torture, that all the family members are on board uh, and are giving Tatiana Proksha a green light. And to me, even that I'm dumb, you know, even that they suggested, you know, Shteta, you know, Shteta uh, Shtasilut, you know, and I asked them, uh, you know, too bad that you're mentally retarded, you know. And that's those are the words from her cousins to me, and I was and I asked her, I asked them, like, why do you think I'm mentally retarded, you know, and they said, well, you know, so many proofs and so much stuff we did, and you did not identify us, you know what I mean, uh, and now you're going to have to live with this, and we're going to have to live with it, uh, and the way they presented me to her, it's like, uh, you know, uh, like, you're going to get married to the Slovenian madman, basically. That's totally fucked up. Um, I, I am I'm going to refrain myself to get to that level right now. Sure, it makes me hot, but okay, I mean, fine. Um, in the end, they give me a green light, and wow. Uh, the two of us are going to get married. Well, needless to say that uh, marriage never took place. Uh, it was just a bullshit. Now, beginning of 2003, now, the stuff that I have spoken about right now, the incident which I described right now, traces to... To 2011. I disregarded what started sometimes in 2003, even earlier, with the Russians literally uh, siding with the Russians always against me, uh, always suggesting and insisting that. I should be 
hospitalized, that I should be in psychiatric care. Actually, this shit already started like since 2000, 2001. When she could still only dream about, uh, you know, having the ability to do the stuff like this. Uh, this, this was, uh, my mother was the one who motivated me in this video because she left from the shirt, uh, from the female. She was very, very slim, very slender, very, she had a really good figure. Uh, she watched for every gram when she was young, very um she was really attractive okay but the thing is that um this shit just everything was going wrong and yeah she and i would always come to agreement with a marriage however i would never ever agree that i would welfare here in slovenia some kind of Serbian revolution for the sake of greater Serbian Chetnik state previously known as Yugoslavia now I also described the relationship her view on me in respect to that which was rather aggressive insisting on behalf of Serbs Russians or whenever she would come in touch with them taking always a hard line against me how psychiatric hospitalization is a necessary thing to do with me uh, i'm gonna say at the same time but that's why it was very difficult to judge her very difficult for me to judge her because she was so personal during mk ultra with me she suggested, well, that she is forced, you know, due to political stuff into this type of atmosphere against me uh, and have acknowledged one by literally suggesting me that she wasn't comfortable with it either and her and I we could actually travel to Republic Srpska in Bosnian Federation and start our life over there which something that did not appeal to me in absolutely any way because that's like, um, well, it just um, it just would not work out for me. So that issue, she started to upgrade into something else that appeared to me like case of the hijacking, as it was also translated to me, the case of the hijacking. There was a lot of stuff related to case of the hijacking from all kinds of parties involved in, in this case uh, it was always about the hijacking and uh, that fake death certificates uh, it would be through the hijacking once we issue the hijacking uh, fake death certificate uh, you're through and so on and so forth all kinds of stuff like this and to fortify this type of paranoia uh, she went ahead and opened the company. Uh, before she would even open the company, she started to serve a customer that were in the need of uh, psychological assistance in a city in uh, Bosnian Federation in Srpska, Republic Srpska. Uh, and it was just uh, more and more interest uh, people that would come. Um, and the next thing you see, uh, she already started to investigate with assistance of local mayor and politicians and the Serbian politicians on how in the future she would open her own a company 
It was really interesting. It's interesting to note. Uh, she opened one based on what I see here, what I have gone through. The only thing I did was I Googled the name Tatiana Proctor. That's all I did. Because I, this is really not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not some, some, some jealous guy. I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disturbed about somebody being successful or uh, married to somebody else or, or wherever the case might be. This, this is not what I'm about. It's just that these are the issues that I am stressing now because these are the issues I will follow up through with police. Not with assistance, but in force through the use of the police to learn about what, excuse me that I express myself, what the fuck went on, uh, where is the reality, where the truth is, where the truth meets here, lies, uh, maybe the whole thing is a true, I don't know. Uh, however, um, if I continue with the story, she, um, I did not look for her company in Republic Srpska or something like in Bosnian Federation or in Serbia. Definitely not. But I learned here that um, just today, when I did this, and I hope this is not saying too much, 24 hours, probably not, that, uh, what is this thing here? It appears that she had some kind of uh, business here. It's, it's, it's a Tatiana Procter SP. The owners and that kind of stuff. So that she has a she has a private, uh, you know, <clears throat> like an ambulance, like um, office, which is uh, doing you know private, uh, like acting like an advisor or whatever, you know, psychiatrist, busy private psychi psychiatric. Um, I don't know how you say that office whatever right so this is exactly the stuff she was she started to do in bosnia and herzegovina uh definitely in 2008 but it could be even earlier but definitely in 2008 oh let me see something here when was it when she started to do this stuff in in 2008 yeah and in 2008 when she started this stuff in bosnia and rather was maybe in 2006 but all right, let's go with 2008. Uh, she started to insist that she's doing this for us, for the two of us. I now fucking get anything about it. this shit actually goes to 2006 rather than even 2008. Because I came from the U.S. in 2006. Uh, and... Whether it be 2006, 2008, doesn't matter... Um, what matters is that uh, she went ahead to push forward that uh, the first thing she did was because I returned from um, United States of America as a reward she stated well I offer you a matrimony I offer you a marriage uh, if you would like to get married I would get married with you as a reward that you came back from United States, which is really surprising to me because, as I mentioned earlier, it could have something to do with the political stuff, maybe more than what is very difficult to know. It's very difficult to know because she lied a lot. Tatiana lied, really lied a lot. She's a really good liar. She is. Uh, I remember when I said in 2003, this shit started in 2001, you know, she put with what she stated to me in 2006, how the two of us are going to get married. And this is for the reward since I returned back from the United States. Um, did I even wrote this down? I did. There you go. Uh, I did, I did, I did, I did. There you go, I did. Um, 
I don't know how how good it is since the way language described that, but yeah, this is what went on. Yeah, um, and I I was I was uh, pleased. In fact, in 2006, when I returned back from the U.S., it didn't even matter to me. Uh, I was searching dating online, trying to date online, even women in Serbia, because of some women Serbian that I met in Miami. And I decided I would actually even give a shot the Serbian woman. Uh, now, the one who jumped in between... It again, you know, for me to say this, I don't have a proof. And like I said, she's a good liar. She's a very good liar. Um, if she is not a very good liar, and I am actually saying exactly the facts, that's a different story. But I I suspect that she's a really, really good liar. She's a really, really good liar. This is what I suspect. The one who jumped in between in 2006 between her and me, supposedly, most likely was at her request, whatever, was a psychiatrist Kopsch who went straight ahead to suggest her in my face in front of her that she should not do something like that because I'm definitely mentally retarded and there are so many better opportunities out there Please, please, that he will get her a better opportunity uh, and so on, uh, that she deserves a better opportunity, that she deserves a better opportunity, she's a really good girl, and the only thing that will be with me is she would, her life would be fucked up. That's all there is to it, because that I was so fucked up. This was a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, who... Um, for whom I came to conclusion that I was actually even too much into her, maybe demonstrating too much interest into her. And because at the beginning, everything was normal, everything was okay. And all of a sudden, it started with this twisted shit during MK Ultra that uh, I, I came to conclusion that maybe because I, I expressed interest for her, that uh, now that they're doing this stuff to me, basically, that they are fucking around with me, that they are playing with me, you know what I mean? So hey, then we have ups and downs until I got actually pissed off on opportunity to, and I don't know how that stuff ended, but um, we have ups and downs and ups and downs with her. And definitely uh, I established here that there was a whole lot that I was interested in Tatiana. And not really what it was su suggested that I don't like her and I don't know what uh, stupid shit. I mean, always looking for something that I didn't like, whatever. Uh, it felt like the girl is just doing the stuff to me till I'm going to fucking drop dead. You know, during MK Ultra, she actually was doing that kind of stuff. Definitely was doing that kind of stuff. She was hurting me. She... That's all she had to do. Other Others did the job. Um, it, what started in 2008, um, because of psychiatrist Peter Kopp, since we didn't get married, right? No, you get the, you get the, the, the drill. Um, it turned into a paranoia on how she's doing this for us, uh, opening basically a private office in, uh, which is not officially open yet, and so on and so forth, uh, but it will be open, and it's the kind of stuff eventually it's going to be used uh, if the two of us are going to have to run to uh, Bosnian uh, Federation to Republic Srpska. And I said, how the fuck are the two of us are going to run? Why would I have to run from Slovenia? And she went ahead and suggested me, well, it could be that they will uh, hospitalize you. It could be that they will put you into the psychiatric hospital. And this will be our last opportunity. 
You know what I mean? So she got actually even a green light for me. This is during MK Ultra stuff. Uh, very convincing. I actually, without understanding, even agreed to be hijacked. The hijackers in Slovenia, if the biggest hijackers are employed at the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, I know so because I've seen other Slovenian people in Belgrade with whom these people from Ljubljana Polje and some politician like politician that I mentioned earlier who interacted with Milan Kurchan, with Borut Pahor, they would meet these victims actually of trafficking Slovenian people. Literally in Belgrade, they would be trafficked to Serbia. They wouldn't be trafficked only to Serbia, but people would also disappear to uh, Republic Serbia, uh, Srpska to Bosnian Federation. At the time, the one who was still in charge for me on the Balkans, when it concerns Serbia, uh, Serbian parts, was psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, uh, who began at request, her request, uh, once I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital, uh, Ljubljana Polje, uh, deputized her as the one in charge of my affairs in Serbia, MK Ultra affairs in Serbia and Republic Serbska, meaning that she would become to, she would deliver me, not deliver me, but she would meet me in Serbia and in Republic Serbska during MK Ultra. She would travel from Slovenia and stay at her relatives, she liked very much over there, uh, and then proceeded to Belgrade and so on, interacted with the Serbian politicians all over the place. So this is a very, very interesting testimony that I have to do. So now, uh, I don't like the idea about being hijacked. Uh, and this is, the, according to her, the biggest problem. Because I didn't allow her the criminal activities here in Slovenia. It goes into the category of the terrorism. It goes into a category of, you know, illegal stuff. Uh, which... She was, according to her, she didn't even like, but it was job related, it was opportunity related, financial gains, employment stability issues involving it, uh, that required this type of stuff from her. Uh, and I was guilty because at the same time, I wasn't willing to commit myself to life in uh, in Serbia or in Bosnian Federation, in, in Serbian part of Bosnian Federation. So uh, she always used this issue, like going back and forth, really fucking confusing me about what the fuck goes on. Why is it that I cannot be with her and back and forth and, and uh, the two of us and this and that. She was really good at that stuff. She found a way to to be this way, all right? This is a very, very tricksy person. Um, the torture, the MK Ultra torture went insane in 2012 with her wasting in the middle of 2012, one month during MK Ultra, driving me crazy with the matrimonial issues again. Uh, my meeting her literally in front of her building in Blue Lagoon, uh, where I was, I had to promise myself to her how it will be the two of us that we get married and so on and so forth. Done deal, done deal, done deal, done deal. Uh, just so even the week during hospitalization, which took place, the two weeks before the hospitalization, the sleep almost became non-existing. They were killing me with MK Ultra torture. Uh, it was chaos all over the place. She became part of the chaos. Again, my committing herself to her, definitely marriage, definitely. Um, and using a police officer's 
with a silicon mask of Loise Petrle uh, to demonstrate me other females during MK Ultra after I would commit myself to her with probably her witnessing this stuff and recording it uh, and then meeting her again because the two of us would go apart in the morning, she would go to work and I would just spend some time with the police officers. And that's what she was doing. Uh, that's actually, this is what they were doing, right? Uh, at the end of the day, yelling and screaming at me uh, that she got all the information, everything, and it was it felt like it was the next day I was hospitalized, thrown into the psychiatric hospital in Donna Poli in 2012. This is Tatiana Prokshur, real Tatiana Prokshur. This is a real normal man's the police department. There's no doubt about it. Now, there could be doubt about what she referred to as her boyfriend, as her husband, with whom I was taught in 2012, once I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital, uh, that by the police, by the cops, that, by the way, and also she already is engaged, uh, it was like this. If you're not gonna marry me, it's another guy already. And funny, cause this guy was already in the picture for some time. This guy, she mentions, was in the picture already for some time. But this guy was uh, supposedly two years younger than Tatiana Prokshur. Uh, let's say just crush, patient, uh, Let's say 30 years old. I'm not saying that he was 30 years old or something like that. I'm not going to go and calculate these years. I'm just going to give you facial characteristics of what more or less individual look like. So I'm going to go back to you uh, to spot something that would look like that because I also remember his facial characteristics. Um, this was well. A groomed, shaved, um, about 190 centimeters tall guy, for what she actually thanked me that I did not marry her because, according to her words, uh, she always wanted to have a taller guy. So, this was another plus. Uh, this guy was the individual with whom she already was intimidating me for some time. She drove me crazy with this guy. Uh, and on top of that, a big plus of what I also do not like, the guy was of a little um, a less light complexion. Uh, he, you know, something like black hair. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, let's just go here. Let's go with this here. We're going to see. How about this here? This would be like perfect, I think. This this boy here, this would be like perfect. Uh, more or less something like that. Something like this would be just just about something like that. Yeah, this is this would be just like a perfect thing. And apparently that he was from Croatia. Uh, actually, excuse me, from. Let's see this here. But this, uh, this guy, apparently, I was told, uh, was uh, from Croatia, and that would be somewhere from Knin area, actually from this area, something like that, uh, family, something like that from there. Um, I don't know, maybe born in Slovenia or something like that. Uh, a real Kninja, as they call it. I, I don't know if you're familiar with the Kninja. Somebody left me a comment the other day. Uh, over there on YouTube, but you know, by a Malik Ninja. Uh, and this is a very, very place, also, this area that is known about very, very extremist Serbs. But the guy he is a Croat, and because uh, he is a Croat, they make the whole story about it. They make the whole story. Um, there was again. Novo Mesto police director, so about 190 centimeters tall and 
exactly about what you see right there. Uh, except one thing, shaved, shaved. It became so popular that, let's see, because these guys are changing hands really, really rapidly now. This is also the man who went, went on 2019 as he stated that, so that he will destroy me. Um, he tried his best, but somehow didn't work out. Um, it was this individual who claimed that he got him a job at a police station, that they got him a job. This, this guy supposedly uh, completed a... I don't know, maybe a two-year engineering or even four-year engineering, something like that. Uh, got a degree, some kind of, or maybe, I don't know, maybe accounting or whatever the fuck might be. It might be one or the other, I don't know, that he's got a, that he had his uh, a degree, all right? So which one of it, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. What I know is, is that Yanis Ogolin insisted that he got a job at a police station, it could be a police station, uh, a government job, something like this. And then it, it went into, even into area of home for elderly people and a local fire station. Uh, geez, I don't know. To me, it sounds, when I consider this kind of stuff, a little bit suspicious. Uh, especially suspicious, you know, because um, oh, the guy was like... Um, apparently that I was jealous and that I promised him that I'm going to whip him up or something like that. I don't think I was. I don't believe it. Uh, and started to present himself that in MKUltra uh, as a, uh, somebody who would go and do the sports, uh, karate and boxing, uh, that so that he could protect her. He got all the support in front of me from psychiatrist Peter Kopsch and uh, Nurse Yanko, investigators that the, the whole this crew that associated with one another, very supportive toward him. And you know, it was like a little gang, quite a big gang actually. And this this became a star. Uh, it, that's why I'm suspicious about this stuff. You know what I mean? So they paint a whole picture about this guy in my eyes, how, you know, um, and at first it was like a tolerant, and then it was more and more death threats that started to line up. Uh, and finally, it was all about death threats, really. Uh, it gestured in me that she demonstrated him uh, video recordings about me, how I mistreated Tatiana. Wow. So uh, now we have an individual that just like completely paints in your head. I mean, idea about uh, somebody who might actually not even exist. I like I'm 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 going to repeat to you the strangest part that I I came across today is. And I did not thought about it, because if you read this post here, you will realize, I don't even fucking know at this point when I, when I finished this, I did not even know whether this girl actually really got married or did not get married. No idea. I was, I only had, the only thing I had here was, I, I was left with guessing myself because you know uh once thrown in the psychiatric hospital in 2012 i was just told well you know uh if i repeat they don't even bother with her anymore and this and that yeah uh, you know I, I get engaged and like two or three months i'm pregnant you know uh she got pregnant uh it's gonna be a baby it's gonna be a child six months it's gonna be a child i don't know uh, I noticed that there was some nervous factor in Tatiana uh, in respect to this blah blah between her and psychiatrist Kopsch. I noticed even the two uh, 
had a problem with uh, impregnation issues. Like, if this was to take place since I was hospitalized, etc., 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 wouldn't that perhaps be a problem? Because I would know all this information and cause potential problem. This is especially why I am so suspicious about this her husband, this boyfriend, whatever the fuck. I am really suspicious about this stuff. Secondary, because Tatiana, who is a really, really great liar, I'm thinking about these reports, how she created these reports during my visit with my mom to her office at the hospital in Naomesto, where she, you know, I'm not going to go into it, but she was really full of shit. Um, she always came up with stuff that, what I would read, that, that really knocked me on my ass. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about all this stuff. Sometimes I'm actually even laughing about it. But it's really not funny. Uh, the thing is that she proceeded. Yeah, you know, the story about how he got employment at a police. Uh, that's fucking weird. Uh, he worked in, I don't even know. Insurance or something like this, something like that it would be, or something like that. I don't know. Look, I don't know. And then he got a job at the police, and the police they liked him because you know what? Because he was not a Serb, because he was a Croat, and to him it didn't matter that she was of Serbian origin, unlike myself. You know what I mean? Because to him, a man is a man, it doesn't matter his background, her background. Uh, and that's the way we shall all be, right? So this is a lot, a lot of political indoctrination, all kinds of stuff like this that make me especially, especially suspicious, even more so, you know? This Croat, uh, not only he did not have uh, problems with her, but they loved him at the police station because he was so... That's why Janusz Ogolin rushed forward and claimed uh, that's why we got him a job at a police station, so he can have a job at a police station. Frankly, I don't know what the fuck to think. To me, it sounds so fishy, so shitty, and Tatiana is a really, really great liar as she is. She came up with a more brilliant story. She complimented us, she upgraded the story by stating me, well, uh, you know, next to that fishy stuff, like, isn't going to be maybe suspicious because, you know, um, I, you know, uh, if I make baby uh, and this and that and all that engagement and, and baby and all this, and he knows all this information, it's like especially, especially suspicious. Even more suspicious later on became fact on how Tatiana insisted me uh, that to protect her husband and the baby, uh, it's necessary for her to keep only her last name. Wow, I was thinking about I said to myself, uh, really, I mean, you gotta really love your husband. I mean, you know, you, you know, if you're doing this, you know, so that you protect him. So, yeah, I mean, doing this to protect my, uh, you know, husband because they're everything to me. And so I don't want them to, uh, you know, uh, you know, have his name or something. But so I want to keep them safe and so on, you know. And on the other hand, it, it, it kept me safe because nobody can fuck with Tatiana because her husband, he works in the police station. This is the way it was. So I'm very, very suspicious about that, all those little stories about Tatiana, his private life, about her boyfriend and all that stuff yeah so uh yeah, let me return a little bit to this stuff there is no written that tatiana is married or something that tatiana is that she has a husband or whatever uh i don't see anything that would that would be written any, anywhere about she doesn't have a facebook she doesn't have anything and frankly I don't really depend on that kind of stuff, you know. I don't, 
I'm not really somebody. What I do is just the way you see it, straight out of memory. And this is memory. This is not the schizophrenia or paranoia. No, if this is a lice or something like that, that's a different story. But if those were lies, I was brainwashed with. That's a different story. However, the stuff I am stating to you is de facto, as it took place during MK Ultra. Uh, I, when I touch certain issue, I just like to know absolutely everything about what went on. And, you know, uh, I touched a very interesting issue. Uh, actually, my mother did the other day when she threw me on the floor from the shirt, which Tatiana also asked her to do it, uh, claiming me that she's still my supporter in 2018 and 2019, that she's my supporter. Like, I was like, fuck, man. Now I'm gaining really quickly the supporters. I mean, I do not understand any anything at all what happened, but she took me on the side and... Uh, a bathroom area with a shower shower area and insisted that I would see like from the shirt that mom would purchase and would be on the floor and you will know when you will see this you will recall me etc uh, etc et just so you know that I am still uh, I am on your side but the, the the marriage that would not be possible anymore and this and that which she repeated to me also during her visits to Serbia. So there is a good chance that she actually got married, that uh, that there might be actually even children in the picture. Who the hell knows what's going on? Uh because it's impossible to tell. However, I don't see anywhere uh that there will be anywhere written about how uh, Tatiana is married to somebody, you know, unless it's also possible that her husband changed the name into her last name. It usually doesn't happen in Slovenia, but of course, that stuff is also, you know, it's possible. I don't, I don't know. They brainwash me severely with this stuff. Uh, everything I have stated to you is just totally, totally de facto, just exactly the way it is. But, you know, this whole thing is completely, you know, what I, why I wanted to be record this stuff. You know, if I go back to Alexander Vucic, you see, you see nowhere, nothing about her. Um, you can see her picture right there, the left side. But there is nothing here, anything that would be about her husband and this and that. They mentioned here, what did they mention here still? They mentioned the Goni and this and that. And so... Uh, what happened was supposedly uh, they negotiated the job, and uh, when uh, I would be taken in the mornings with her and her husband uh, to uh, her work uh, with a car, that he would drive the car. Now, let me see that stuff. How this is actually so I see this stuff here there. Gunya. All right, so let's see what the distance is this. But I told her, I told her, uh, Tatiana, uh, don't you think it's a little bit uh, far for you to drive every day all the way to Begunia and back to Ljubljana? I mean, don't you think it's like a little, really, I mean, really a little bit far? And she said, yeah, you're right. She is very, it is very far. But the thing about it is, it's a very good pay, she said. And I said, but how much is the pay then? I mean, and she said 4,000 euros. So that is a really good pay, I would say. Uh, unless she was, I don't know, pulling me for the nose. I had no idea what the issue is. Uh, it, it was even something like doing like uh, the beginning, like, I don't know, 3,500 and then 4,000 euros per month. And I told her, well, you know what? That's like really good. You know, that, that, that really pays off. And her husband was doing some other job. And the job was not so well paid like that one. So it was just, you know, 
understandable understandable now the death threats from her husband was just um it was just getting worse and worse with this guy this was just uh the young man that first entered the picture was just uh, more and more violent uh in fact this guy was not even this guy did not feel well without death threats uh he was becoming physical uh the expert in i don't know boxing or whatever uh karate or whatever he was uh taking a training uh he was becoming more and more aggressive with it because of as i stated the videos he claimed me she demonstrated to me to him about me in 2014 that was a second psychiatric hospitalization like i stated in 2013 um tatiana Proksher and her husband went ahead to negotiate offers financial offers job at begunia um Literally through this individual here, and for him in Ljubljana, this is very, very um, it was about the most criminal shit that went on in 2013 with this uh, Slovenian so this is this is like an older man I'm looking for to demonstrate you I'm going to demonstrate you right now I am just going to uh, It, it essentially doesn't matter because it's, it's really going to be easy thing to point out the people. Uh, supposedly, these are self-proclaimed leftists. I don't see anybody as a righteous person in Slovenian parliament. Don't worry about it. I don't believe not in the left, not in the right. They really feel themselves. Uh, the left exists for the right and the right exists for the left and everything in between is nothing other than theft crime organized crime nothing more than that uh i don't see this individual whoever that was for me to end this video uh she definitely took bribe and bribe came in form of employment for both of them in Ljubljana and in Begunia. And that's the way it was in 2014 that she went ahead and issued psychiatric hospitalization on behalf of Milan Kuch, and this was a second hospitalization. Uh, that's how they compensated. This is where the money came from. before she left she suggested me that she took the job in begonia because she's afraid of me um during mk ultra tough tough shit. uh 
when I considered that on the side she was flirting with me. So Tatiana is just uh, not a truth teller. This is definitely true. That's why I don't know. Oh, in between, I was suggested that she's pregnant and is already second child that was in the way and now it's already two and stuff like this. Uh, what the truth is uh, in all this? Fuck no, I would not. I would not put my hand in fire. I would not go and say, well, this is this and this. No, 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 no. Uh, I wouldn't go into any of it. Everything, however, I have witnessed is when it comes to the boyfriend, no. But other stuff that I witness 100% is legitimate. And this is why she's going to have to answer some questions about this boyfriend. This boyfriend, the questions I want to know, the answers uh, on my questions uh, are really, really simple. It goes straight into 2012 on my hospitalization. Whether she has kids, whether it was such a thing, a relationship, it existed. Because if it existed, it, it plainly explains me that she was in it to just hurt me as much as possible and get me destroyed. There's no, not even a trace, not even a grain of fucking humanity in her. No ethics whatsoever. And I don't know what am I going to do about 2013 when she negotiated a job in Begonia. Therefore, my second psychiatric hospitalization, for which she just decided, basically, in spite even words from my mom that everything is okay, that everything is fine, that psychiatric hospitalization is necessary. So uh, those are the issues that uh, pass me right now, the most aggravated issue that is the issue that pertains to her boyfriend, whether that imaginary boyfriend or a real boyfriend, uh, it goes straight into the area what I suggested earlier. Also, yesterday, I suggested of Dr. Ivan Galatz. Otorino Loron, uh, Otorino Lagolor, Otorino Laryngologist, let me see this here. Oh, oh. Otorino Laryngologist, Otorino Laryngologist, Otorino Laryngolo. Gist, Torino <laughs> Larin Golo Gist. Um, lie, 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 extreme violence used, breaking my teeth to make the point uh, about my being schizophrenic. And in her case, it could be some other stuff that was used to prove me that I'm schizophrenic. Uh, these people. Once they threw me in the psychiatric hospital and I exited the psychiatric hospital, I came, I had fallen like from the sky straight into her hands. Before you know, once I returned to the novel master from Ljubljana, uh, she was the one I would meet. If you understand me what I'm saying, uh, Dr. Boschniak was one and she was the one. So, maybe they wanted me to talk and write about her boyfriend or her husband or whatever uh, child that I don't actually remember I have seen, as I stated. But this is the way it was, that this is the way it was, and so on and so forth. I don't remember the trial. Honestly, I don't remember. Um, so, that's why this video, because it goes straight into the area of a paranoid schizophrenia, these people wanted to record from me. From me, my friends, who was subjected for 51 years, not 51 years, but since age one to MK Ultra, and it didn't stop till 2021. So, wow, that's something interesting for 48 years. Somebody that 
absolutely did not go mad, insane, or have displaced any trace of any kind of schizophrenia or paranoia. That's what British royals have compensated. That's why they have paid so much money to you guys who you participated in this case. They mainly sponsored what would become, if only possible, a proof for existence of paranoid schizophrenia in mentally most powerful, strongest man in the world. For 48 years, they couldn't prove that even after throwing me into the psychiatric hospital. This is where the money came from. This is why the money, this is why so much money. Because the longer it took around these people, the more it took, the friendship, the so-called the friendship that lasted for so long, seeing me, therefore people seeing me around royals, Dealing with all these people, the only thing that could cure them was something they could be used, they could use to depict me as mentally ill, but there was nothing. That's why they were paying such a big rewards to people. That's why they were offering you. If you can prove a guy like this does have a mental problem. This year, very hot issue next to Dr. Gallatz for me. Very hard issue. The answers about what her intentions were clearly won't be difficult to get based on the questions which I presented in my video. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Other than that, what can I say? Huh? That's how you do that kind of stuff. That, that's how, this is how we do it. The boyfriend, as I stated, I think it's like two years younger, or husband, or whatever it is. It should be like two years younger than even uh, Tatiana. So, wow, that's like a perfect boyfriend. And younger from her, not as old as I am, a taller, 190 centimeters uh, compared to 182 a better looking everything, um, everything better. I would wish everyone in this world nothing other than better. Absolutely. Except that here, you must admit in this case, things did go a little bit too far.